cinnamon, please, Ethel. Thank you. <laughs> Not bad. Well, good for you, Earl. I'm fine. Sit, please. Oh, yes, you did. I'm good for you. I'm so, so proud of you. <laughs> well, maybe that's because everyone else is locked up and don't have anywhere else to go. <laughs> uh, that was just a joke. Oh, I caught your last show. Mm hmm. Well, uh, I'll see what I can do. But this is a very big step, Earl. Very big. You coming in without the wig on? I believe that we've made some progress. <laughs> well, you look a little bit like one too. <laughs> oh, that's that just another joke. Uh, no offense. Oh, it's just a regular session. About 45 minutes as always. Well, Earl, you haven't really been participating in your own recovery. I don't have a magic wand. Of course it's true. There's a police record on it and everything. Why wouldn't you think it was true? And this ain't gonna affect our friendship. For what? Leaving two wooden legs in the wrong place? No, they, they just had to investigate, you know, given the circumstances. I, I read the coroner's report. Mama hit her head on the sink, and the blow caused her brain to be flooded with blood, and, and she internally hemorrhaged to death. That's all. No, whatever it was, it had nothing whatsoever to do with the subject matter. Anyhow, the play was going all nice like. And all of a sudden, my son walks out on stage, naked, buck naked, sissy, like everything. And he was playing a, a homosexual again. I just looked down at my lap until it was over. I've never been so humiliated in all my life. And you know what he had the audacity to do? Come up to us after and say, So, what'd you think? What did I think? What was I supposed to think? Well, I just stared at him with my mouth open and he said, Okay, let's go get some dinner. Wilson said we weren't ever going back to New York. Said it was worse than Los Angeles. I raised him better than that, sissy. I did. Oh, and to top off everything, when we went to see Sunset Boulevard the next night, Glenn Close, I lost her voice. And the other girl that I had never heard of in my life did the role of Norma Desmond, who they say had once had a part on Rhoda, but I certainly didn't remember her. The entire trip was one big bust. Hello, sissy. I brung this. <laughs> it's my mama's tuna casserole. You know, the one I always make with the little lace potato chips and, and the cream of mushroom soup. Dude, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just can't believe it. Everybody's laughing at me, sissy. JW has made a complete fool out of me. Can I buy mom a cigarette, please? Mm -hmm. I mean, this has to be awkward for you, sissy. My husband killed your sister with this. <laughs> I threw him out. I threw his sorry ass out, sissy. <laughs> threw all of his stuff out of the front lawn. If you don't get it by tonight, I'm going to have it a yard sale. <laughs> but what am I going to do now? 
<laughs> mm -hmm. Three days now, and I'm just about to die myself. No, hold on a minute. Ouch! Oh, nothing. Well, if you must know, it's a little quit smoking therapy thing that Roger over at the Beehive shared with me while he was back combing my hair. He paid $2,000 at this clinic over in Snyder, and they give him a rubber band. <laughs> Told him to pop his arm with it every time he wanted a cigarette. Sat there for a week with a bunch of other smokers, talking about annual thing and watching television, popping their arms. <laughs> It's called, um, Behavior Monitor uh, something or another. Eh, Roger can tell you the exact wordage. Anyway, it ain't working. Oh, Chorus Girl kicks off? Oh, um, this one's the shoe? Well, I, I've got it here somewhere. Oh, Vera, I, I gotta go. Somebody is at the door. Oh, Lord, let another cut. Ugh, I'll call you back.